Plutus is a new language, correct? Why do you need a new language when there seems to be lots out there? Why do you need a new language when there seem to be lots out there? That's a good point. So the obvious thing to do might say, let's just use Haskell. Um, Haskell's quite a big language. It's never had a formal specification. If you actually wanted to formally validate something in Haskell, there are a large number of steps to take. So we've got a much simpler language um, that makes it much easier to get accurate. We're not tied into Haskell, which actually has a relatively small base of people that are maintaining the core software. Uh, we also have a, an even smaller group of people, but at least we're in control of our small group of people. So those would be the main reasons for use, not using an existing language like Haskell, which is that it's quite large. And we want something smaller that we can formally specify. Oddly, even though Haskell benefits a lot from the formal methods community, and we always formally specify the core of any idea in Haskell, um, we've not specified all of Haskell. OK, and then here's what Iyela looks like. So Iyela is a, more or less an assembly language inspired by the EVM and even more by LLVM. So this is just an assembly language sort of thing. For an assembly language, it's pretty readable. But this is an assembly language. And of course, it's imperative. We're now um, assigning to locations rather than just computing values. So right, there is no notion of storage at all here. It's just you're computing a value. And especially for something like a smart contract, that's the way to go. It's much easier to reason about something like that than about assigning to locations. If you're assigning to locations, you have to go, well, wait, what's in the location that's relative to what I'm doing? In a functional language, you just depend on your arguments, which makes it completely obvious what your answer depends on. One might even say it becomes painfully obvious. But when, you want, when you're doing something like a smart contract, which has to be right, then going to extra lengths to make it clear what's going on makes a lot of sense. Um, there is a threat here, right, which is there are relatively few people in the world trained in functional programming, and we want everybody to use Cardano. So there's some claim question about, well, do we have to make available to people um, only what's best for them to use, which will be Plutus, or what they're familiar with, which might be compiling Solidity to Iela. Uh, 